In Ghana, it's approximated that households spend up to one-third of their monthly income on issues related to inadequate mental health. These expenses cover direct charges for treatment such as medication, medical fees, transportation, as well as indirect costs stemming from income loss. Prioritizing mental health has shown to bolster the government's poverty alleviation strategies, empowering individuals for better societal and economic engagement. President of the Ghana Psychological Association, Dr. Collins Bidwajiman, has thus charged the government to redirect the 1% COVID levy to improving mental health in the country. We have a lot of young ones who are now giving they are just allowing themselves to be taken away by behavioral addiction. Excessive indulgence in the use of internet that is affecting their mental health. There is a lot of work we need to do. This particular 1% levy can support the training of human resource. It can support research to be able to understand where our priorities are that we need to actually channel our effort to be able to support the developmental agenda of Ghana. So I think it is not about introducing a new one, it is about redirecting it from how people may be anxious and not too satisfied with COVID-19 simply because they think it's gone. Let's redirect it to an area where we have a 90% deficit as far as treatment gap is concerned. For the Chief Executive Officer for the Mental Health Authority, Pinaman Apel, the authority needs a continuous source of funding in rendering its service we will not be able to do what we really projected to do, but we are hoping that at least this will create some um, sensitization amongst the public so that going forward we will be um, we get more funding. But let me add my voice to the COVID levy. Um, yes, we are hoping that we do get part of the COVID levy being channeled into the Mental Health Authority Fund. If you again remember, when the um, our act established the mental health fund but since the fund was established we've not had a levy or we've not had a source of funding for um, the fund so we've been um, should I say we've been lobbying that um, some of these um, levies be used for the mental health authority fund so um, the COVID levy could we get a percentage we are also asking for the cent what we call the sin taxes um, taxes on alcohol on tobacco and all that because let's face facts the um, the complications come to us for us to um, resolve so why don't we get some percentage coming to the authority just to fund that so she adds that the initiative is one of many her outfit is using to address the rising mental health situation in the country we are looking at um, school health programs um, quite recently we've had so many mental health issues amongst our youth um, Amongst them is the substance increase in substance use, um, behavioral addictions like um, gambling, like even the gadgets that um, the youth are using and so on. So we want to go into the um, schools and then create um, awareness amongst them to let them know that um, their mental health it's or their mental health we, um, well-being is important in their general development so as economic conditions continue to worsen Ghanaians are being encouraged to be deliberate about their mental health Stephen Mensah's report read to you